my way. Far away from here. Far gone. The road is narrow and cold. Please get me out of here. Please get me out of here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to achieve this beautiful and bouncy kinky twist. Yes, I'm loving this hair, guys. And if you want to know anything about this hair, make sure you watch to the end because I'll give you any information you need to know at the end of the tutorial. So, if you want to see how I achieve this beautiful kinky twist, thank you for watching. Okay guys, so I'm starting by cornrowing my hair all going back and the most amazing part about this hairstyle is you can choose to go in with any type of braiding pattern that you want. There's no specific braiding pattern for this time. You can do crisscross, you can do zigzag, any type of braiding pattern that you do, you are good to go. And as you can see, I'm trying to braid my hair as tight as I can, but not to hurt my scalp because I don't want my braids to be too loose or fall off. So I'm trying my best to tighten it a little bit, but not to hurt my scalp. Now I'm all done and this is how my cornrow is looking. So for every crochet you will definitely need a latch hook and you should make sure that your latch is always open and make sure that the hair that you are attaching to the latch is also pre-looped. So you attach the crochet hook through your cornrow, attach the hair that you are using, close the latch and then pull it through and once you do that you just make a single knot and this is how it should look like I have a lot of crochet videos on my channel on how to do it step by step so if you think this one is a little bit faster and you want to learn I'll leave a link to all my crochet playlist in the description bar down below so you can go and check it I have a tutorial on how I did it step by step for beginners so you can do that this is like an advanced um, video that I'm doing so I just fast forwarded it because I don't want to bore you guys you know what I mean <laughs> So I keep adding hair to uh, my cornrows so that it will get a little bit full. So that's what I'm doing now, adding hair to it and I'll catch you guys all when I'm all done and about to braid the front out. So I'm all done with the crocheting part and what I'm doing is detangling my hair and adding pomade to it to give it a little bit of shine and then I'll go ahead to part my hair and placing the rest aside holding it with some hair clips so that it will not bother me whilst I'm braiding and you want to make sure that your sections are neatly as possible because with a corn roll, no one is gonna see it because you covered with you covered it with um, hair. But with the front tiles, that is the first thing most people would see once you approach them. So you wanna make sure that your sections are as neat as possible. 
so now I'm doing the three strand braid beginning from my root and braiding it past the middle of my natural hair before I start twisting and with a twist all you do is to just braid like you're braiding your normal hair do not twist this hair guys do not twist just braid it loosely like you would normally braid your natural hair and that will give it the bouncy or springy effect that will make the hair look more nicer so that's what I'm doing just watch what I'm doing and you'll get an hint so once I get to the front, I like to add a little bit of gel or edge control around it in order to hold my baby hairs and of course start braiding that side as well. Always remember you need to start with a three strand braid, braid past your um, natural hair like in the middle and then you start your twist and with a twist once again do not twist the hair just braid it freely like like you would normally braid your natural hair so i braided most of my hair off camera the frontals and then around the perimeters of my edges and now i'm left with just three more um twists then i'll be done so repeating the same steps over and over and over again braiding your hair before you start to twist make sure you don't twist the hair before you braid like you would normally braid um, expression hair just braid it freely like you normally braid your natural hair and you will get this nice and stretchy result at the end and I must admit that this hair is so 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 soft and it can be slippery sometimes you know um, because I'm on the relaxed side so braiding it wasn't that easy but once you get a hint of it you're good to go that's all I can say And this is the style of completed I'm loving this style guys just look at how beautiful they turned out look at how stretchy and bouncy they are oh my god so guys I promise to give you any information about this hair at the end of the tutorial but there's a sad news the quality of this video is very very poor the Sun goes in and out as you can see and I don't think it's appropriate for me to add this to my video I just added it like to show you that I filmed it but it's not of good quality so please guys bear with me and I didn't notice like this is how the video will turn out until I started editing also I'll make sure to put everything down in the description bar and I'll make a separate video showing you every little detail that you guys need to know thank you for understanding and I'll see you in my next one don't go yet please support my channel by clicking every button down here and if you want to watch more of my hair tutorials click here bye